Welcome to AnyRun. In today's video, we're exploring how AnyRun can help you analyze Linux malware. We'll walk you through three case studies and highlight Linux malware examples, what makes them a threat to enterprises, and how AnyRun can help detect them. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified about our latest content. Now, let's get started. Linux is often seen as less prone to attacks than Windows, mainly because it's not as widely used but it's not totally immune to malware. Certain types of malware, like DDoS botnets, are even more common on Linux than on Windows. After all, Linux servers are all used in many enterprise setups. Hackers target them for bigger gains, and this caused Linux malware to spike by 50% in 2022. The question is, how do you defend your organization from Linux threats? A big part of a defense strategy is malware analysis a process where you load malware samples into a secure environment, let them do their thing, and learn about their behavior. This lets you collect IOCs they leave, and then set up your security systems like WAF, WAF, SIEM, S-I-E-M, or SOAR platforms. Analysis is usually performed in special software called sandboxes. One of the most powerful sandboxes is AnyRun, and until recently, it only supported Windows. We've added our first Ubuntu operating system not long ago, so let's analyze three cases of Linux malware together in AnyRun. Mirai is a type of malware that transforms network-connected Linux devices into remotely controlled bots, often referred to as zombies. These compromised devices are then used to carry out distributed denial-of-service attacks. This means that after a Mirai infection, your servers could become sources of DDoS traffic. In the first example, we're going to analyze Mirai, a botnet. Mirai creates network requests. We see them in the Network tab. In the task, let's now take a look at the threat window to see botnet's actions. There are 10 recorded threats. We can see which Suricata rules were triggered and examine them. Click on the red or orange bars to open a detailed view. At the beginning of the video, we talked about how some malware types are more common on Linux. Botnets are one of them. Mirai falls into this malware category. Botnets are the culprits behind DDoS attacks. They transform Linux running devices into remotely controlled bots or zombies and make them flood a target server with network requests. This leads to a traffic congestion, making the resource unresponsive. What does this mean practically? Hackers could exploit your system for unlawful activities. The next example is a miner. Let's see how monitoring tools in any run help us identify the type of threat we're dealing with. Check out the Network tab. The first thing we notice is nearly 300,000 DNS requests being generated, all linked to generated domain names, meaning domain names were created by a script, not a person. This all happened in under four minutes. Pretty unusual, right? Also, look at the top right. Right after the malware kicked in, the CPU hit max capacity, and RAM usage shot up simultaneously. Mining cryptocurrencies really strained the system, so it's a sign the system got hit with a miner. Oh, and there's a tag that straight up says it. We kinda ignored it to show that even when direct detection isn't available, you can still tell what went down in the system just by sample behavior. Now, let's examine one more miner to highlight another powerful monitoring tool in any run. Signatures. We could tell what was going on with the system just by skimming the titles. Seems like the malware was checking active group controllers and the list of CPUs. Miners do this to figure out the system they're on. Then, they limit their resource usage to stay undetected. This one messed up or didn't activate that feature. Look at the CPU usage. It's off the charts in this task. Now, if a workstation or server in your organization gets infected with a miner, typically it won't corrupt or steal your data. Instead, that computer will slow way down and become a pain to use, since the miner will grab most of its available resources. Sometimes though, miners are dropped by other malware that does steal data, so either way, they're not a threat to ignore. We checked out a Mirai sample, analyzed a couple of miners, and now we're on to our last case study. Let's watch a DDoS attack that was recorded in AnyRun. 
Just so you know, it's not happening live anymore, as the attack already occurred, and the sample won't connect to C2 or activate. But it's fascinating to see how a compromised Linux system launched a DDoS attack. Check out the crazy number in the network tab. Within just one minute, the malware tried to connect over 15,000 times. In conclusion, let's recap what we've learned. Linux isn't invulnerable to malware, and some malware types are more common on this operating system than on Windows. One of the most important ways to stay safe is to analyze malware samples, learn about their behavior, and use that knowledge to fine-tune your security systems. You can do that with specialized analysis tools, such as AnyRun's Sandbox. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down. And we'll be back with more malware analysis content in the next one. See you then.